Okay, hey guys, Johnny Dye Wolf here. If I sound a little weird, it's because I have my braces in. I have Smile Direct Club and Visualines. No sponsor, just wanted to let you guys know if I sound weird. I'm getting used to these. They feel weird. But anyways, um. The video you're about to watch, I did yesterday. It might be a little scattered because I time-lapsed it because the time ended up being over 44 minutes. Actually, at this time now, I'm deciding if I'm going to time-lapse it or if I'm going to just put the times in the description. We'll find out at the end of the video. But... Right now, check the description, see if there's any times, if there is. Feel free to go and check out the specific categories I rated the um, dice set I'm about to review on. It was a really good dice set. I enjoyed it completely. I'm definitely going to order more and do more reviews. Every time I do a video, my cat starts meowing. Cat, what do you want? You think I'm talking to her. But, anyways. I'm going to be doing a vlog here in the next few days about what's been going on with the channel. And I know this video is going to be a little bit disproportionate to the rest of it. I'm sorry about that. But I'm doing this on my phone instead of my tablet this time. And... That's how it goes. <laughs> But anyways, guys, enjoy the video. It's a really good dice set. And if you have any questions or any comments on it, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think. Later. Alright, guys, so we're starting the video. This is going to be a review of a dice set I got off of Amazon. I play Dungeons and Dragons. It's a big thing with my group in that because, well, we love Dungeons and Dragons. My friend Jana Will, the guy from Vanishing Souls, he is um, the DM usually. There's me. We usually play some type of barbarian. I prefer playing my new character, the Dragonborn Barbarian, Darius Donovan. He's a pirate from the outskirt lands. He's a blue Dragonborn, still with his tail. If you play Dragonborn, you understand what that means. And... He's honestly one of my favorite roles I've played so far. And I want to play more campaigns. Or at least get a campaign going that we don't have to cancel in that. To play with him. So I got a dice set because we're probably going to have to get some new people in who don't have their own. And I saw this one on Amazon and it really piqued my interest. Which dice, dice of the future. 20 complete dice sets in this bag of devouring. Oh. For a total of 140 dice. Yeah, as you see, there's a bag of devouring. I like the little artwork they have here. going on. When we take a look in the back, they have Dice Wars, Hero Polyhedra um, card right on the back. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out when I look in here. So let's get started with the review. 
Now, while I'm opening this up, I wanted to say the first half of the video, I have just woke up. I am really tired, so I'll go in-depth with the workout channel and stuff like that when I'm more awake. So, first things first, this bag is freaking killer. This is all embroidered. Beautiful bag of devouring. I could have made one of these, but I was like, might as well check it out. I think this set of dice was like 20 bucks on Amazon. And for 140 dice, if you've been anywhere like a bookstore or something to get your dice, you know that that's a freaking wicked good price. Always go to Amazon or go and sponsor one of your local D&D groups and that when buying dice. Don't just go to a bookstore and that. But anyways, Dice Wars, here is your polyhedra. It's a pamphlet. Okay. That's real cool. So the pamphlet tells us about um, the company. Now available on Amazon. And tells you what's available for the other game apparently they make. Thanks for purchasing a pack of Wish Dice. We hope everything is perfect and if so, please consider leaving us a review and letting us know how we did. You're doing awesome. I will be putting this review on Amazon. The contact info, which is facebook.com slash Wish Dice. If you like our dice, you might like Dice Wars, Heroes of Polyhedra, a kickstart, kickstart in December, and hold on, before I read this, I want you all to know I am dyslexic, so I might get lost, I might get confused, and that it's not you guys, it's me, it's not that I don't know how to read, it's literally that. Words will start floating at times when I'm not completely awake. Kickstarter in December 2017. Okay, so this has been going for a while. Dice Wars is a tactic battleground of two to four players we built from the ground up at the Wish Dice HQ. Mechanics, illustrations, and graphic design, all us. Hey, good on you guys. Your, force, all right, your forces are giant polyhedral dice that roll you a random army every game. Ooh. The map is nine modular tiles and... Wait, that shuffle and rotate. There are extra rules so you can customize your play style. Basically, there's an infinite replay value so you can play forever. Interested, visit our YouTube channel to see Dice Wars in action. And there's the YouTube channel. I'll put it down in the description down below. I'll put all their info down in the description down below because... That sounds really cool. Like, really cool. Look at this. Hold on. I'm going to fold this over. Look at this map. I am actually interested in doing this. So, you might see this live on our channel one day. Anyways, guys. Time to open up. The bag of devouring. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to lay out all the dice right here. If you hear a cat meowing in the background, that's my cat. So I'm going to go handle that very quickly. Because she is freaked out. There's construction going on out back. So we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we got a nice little purple set of dice, golden numbers, a nice, I want to call that a slimish yellow or gelatinous cube yellow or green, something along that line. We have a nice clear set of dice. I'm not a fan on the color of the numbers, but it does flow a little better, but for visual reasons, I will went a little darker. The green, really nice. And keep in mind, this has a D20, a D4, I'm going to try and get all these right, a D8, I think that's a D10, yeah, D10, a D6, D100, and a D20, all of them in here. We got a nice little forest green color right here. That's more of an emerald green, that's more of a forest. We got a sort of yellowish white. I'm not sure what to call that. If that's gold, that's not because that's not quite a gold. I would call it a golden canary. All right, we'll go with. Ooh, I like this color. It's not red. It's more of a burgundy violet. I like that. Now here's for gold. Very clearly gold. I like this. When the light hits it when we're doing our game in that. It'll look really good. Now I'm going to move these over to the side. Because you've each had a good look at them. And then start putting on the next set. Oh, this is nice. We got a nice little teal. Which I have a feeling my friend's going to steal because he's going, he's a big fan of Critical Role. If you can name the character that is really big on teal. You're awesome. I'm just going to put it, I'm going to put it as your awesome in the comments. <laughs> I don't really have prizes yet for that type of thing. We have a sort of clearish purple with sparkles in it. I like that they have the glitter dice. It is a nice little thing here. Oh, here's your pure gold. That, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful dice set. I'm going to use that, probably. Whoo! We got a sort of... This reminds me of... I'm from Florida, so this is a sort of... Swampy green to me. I really like it. It's just that natural type of swampy green to me. And we still have a lot of dice in here. See this. Yeah. So, I'm going to have to clear these off. I'm going to put them in this. Off to the side here.
keep in mind I'm going to be putting an edited version of this on Amazon. So you won't get all the commentary, but there will be some of it. Alright, next dice set we're going to pull out a nice sparkly glittery blue. I like, I like. A nice Darius Donovan dice set. Ooh, it's one of those solid, it's another one of those really nice, um, solid swirl types. I just love the looks of these. That's a really nice purple one. And here we go. Now we're getting into my type of stuff. For Dragonborn Red, as I call it. That is a pure red Dragonborn Red. If you don't know, it's because I play used to play a red Dragonborn main for every game. This one looks almost... It's a clear brown. Brownish black? I'm not sure. I'm going to... I gotta take one of these out. Before we continue, because... If you look at it, you see how it... When you look through it... Not sure if we're getting it without the glare of it. Yeah, there we go. It comes out brownish. But I think that might be a clear black. So I'm going to call these the black diamond set. I'm not sure if they already have names. If they do, I apologize. But I'm giving them my own right now. Ooh. A nice emerald green. That's another nice emerald green set. It's not... I'm going to call these the dark emeralds. Just because. We already have an emerald green set, so it fits. Here's some hot pink. Spikely. I know someone who's going to go gaga over those. Another pink set. That's either pink or it's supposed to be the clear ruby. I think it's the clear pink. And we're on our last set, guys. Let's see what it is. Oh. All right. This does not disappoint. It's a black dice set. I'm noticing a few discolorations on the numbers there. Like, right there. But it's nothing really that bad. That happens with black dice because no matter what color you go with, it's really hard to stop them from merging. But this is giving me major Star Wars vibes right now. Because they have the little white glitter pieces in there. So he's looking like the starry night sky. So I'm going to call these in a galaxy far, far away. And here's the bag of devouring by Waste Dice. But... I'm going to take a little bit more of an in-depth look here. Depth? Depth. Yeah, yeah. Speech impediments. The pain of your... Can't curse. I forget. They're just a pain. But... Okay, we're go I'm going to take out one of these sets of dice. Because I don't want to mix them all up because I do like having them in the individual bags. 
Drum Boy put them all back into the bog. Devouring. <laughs> Like your swamp of gold, and I'm going to pick out a random dice set, and I'm just going to do a quick little review on the numbers. And we got a winner, And of course it would be that one, to be honest, because I'm going to tell you a fun little story here before we start. I'm not sure how well my sound quality is because I don't have a proper mic for this yet. I'm literally recording off my phone. But whenever I look at these, I'm getting major D&D &D PTSD. Because my DM, he didn't expect us to take a path we did. And he put us in a room with slimes. Really overpowered slimes. I thought it would be like a level 1 dungeon. A level 2 dungeon. No, these were level 3 slimes. And they killed us all off before the campaign even started. I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> so, DM team kill right off the bat. That was a good on him. We've gotten a lot better. That was like our second campaign that we started. And it was really our first real campaign. Because our first one was a bit of a tutorial thing. But back to the dice. Here we have D6. It actually looks like a gelatinous cube. Hello, little jello. Little jello. Yeah, but the numbers are really crisp. I'm not sure if you can see that if my camera will focus. On the clear ones, they're really, really crisp. The D6. Here's the D100. Here's D100 by 10s, so. Looks like a little diamond. This one. There's a little bit of a tarnish on the corner there, of the four, but it's barely noticeable. If it wasn't, hold on, if my camera will focus, there we go. We're having light issues because I don't really have a light on in the room. I'm using the light from the curtain that's open right now. But... There's a tiny tarnish there. You can barely tell it's there. I can only tell because I'm right up there next to it. But if you can't read a D4 and draw the conclusion that that's a four corner from mount numbers, we have issues. <laughs> All right. Here we go. A D10. Wait. Sorry, D8. D8. My bad. Another very crisp number. Here's the D10. Very nice feeling. Very nice rotation. Here's a, I want to say a D12, 
It seems to be the highest number on here, so a D12. And here, the favorite dice of every dice roll, a D20. And the D20 numbers are just crisp as hell. They're really nice. I enjoyed them here. Now, what I think I might do, I might do a review on each one, but at a different time. If you guys request it, and this video gets 20 likes, I'll do a review on each different variant of dice in here. But besides that, that's going to be it for this review, basically. I'm just going to put these back in the bag. And... Bada bing, bada boom, bag of devouring, right there. Available on Amazon. Check out Dice Wars. Description for them will be in the description down below. And yeah. Keep in mind, the video of this on Amazon will be a very abbreviated video. So if you want a more in-depth view on these... Check out the main video. And have a wonderful day, guys. Later.